Hey there, so I'm not in the studio. I'm actually out in Anaheim, California at VidCon and seeing all these bright shining faces made me think of my own, my own youth and one thing in particular, blowing in a Nintendo cartridge in a desperate attempt to make it work. So I was curious, like, did that actually ever work? Maybe there's somebody who could help. Hey, it's Joe Hansen from It's Okay to Be Smart. Fancy running into all of you guys surprise, here. Surprise, surprise. So did it actually work, blowing on a Nintendo cartridge? Uh, no. No, I'm sorry, it didn't. But like, what a weird behavior, right? And we all grew up doing this. When my game didn't work, yeah. I take it out. Yep. Put it back Slide in. It back in. Maybe it didn't work again. <laughs> Do it, it again. Back out. But it seemed like it did work, right? Yeah. Eventually, like the game would turn back on, and I get to play Mario. So that's science, right? I do something, and then I get the effect that I want. What it is? It's like it's your brain playing tricks on you. It's these things called cognitive biases, and we oh, all have them. Okay. And it's, we're kind of afraid to admit it, but this is something called the Texas Sharpshooter fallacy. Okay, that sounds dangerous. Where we take all this random data and we want it to mean something, so we go paint a target on later and we're like, look, it that, works. Yeah, I, every time I do this, 100% of the time, it works. We'll call it like the, the duck hunt fallacy. Yeah, duck, <laughs> duck hunt theory of confirmation bias. Yeah, it's so weird. And it was even weirder was this like a pre-internet cultural thing that spread throughout our youth and nobody told us to do it. We just saw our friends doing it and we started doing it because we thought it worked. Absolutely, and so you're, you're doing an episode about this, right? Yeah. Yeah, we got an episode out this week. You can head over to It's Okay to Be Smart and find out all the crazy ways that Nintendo cartridge blowing uh, ex examples of so many brain tricks. All right, awesome. Well, check out Joe's video. We'll link to it in the comments. And uh, you should leave a comment if you ever did the Nintendo trick when you were a kid or if you have any other rituals, uh, things that you do to get your computer games or console games to work. Please let us know. All right.